Glorious victories. People cry in the streets the names of our heroes. I have led a campaign against Bithynia and crushed them, along with the rebel cities of northern Anatolia. Securing this land against incursions from barbarians or more of Alexander's successors. Aristarchus in the south beat back the Ptolemies with the noble men of Seleucia. As I march south to relieve the Ptolemies of their possessions, I vouch that Aristarchus and his line will be named Warden of Southern Anatolia, from Ephesus to the southern tip of Halicarnassus. Let all those who serve me be well rewarded. But it is Antiochus, my second son, who has impressed me the most. His battle at Sidon has brought all of old Phoenicia under our control, and it is time he marches on Judea and takes the ancient lands for ours. If we hold both the ancient centers of civilization in Babylon and Judea, we stamp our authority over our lands as people destined for greatness. And if you bring Judea to heel, my son, then I will reward you by naming you the next emperor of Seleucia and all the people in it. Our war has enacted a heavy toll on our coffers, however. And lest we fall to economic ruin, we must raise our taxes. I admit, our people may be angry about this, and our lands may be plagued with turmoil. But what would they have me do? Coddle them like babes until the Ptolemaic ogres break down their doors and enslave them? No, I will not see our people submit to such men, and they wouldn't either. So they must pay for our protection, protection in the form of war and conquest. For now, we must press our advantage against those foul Ptolemies and take as much land as we can before they press for a desperate peace. So march forth, my son, and I will march too. And together, let us destroy the Ptolemies once and for all. And forever, let our names ring through history. Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign as Seleucia, Seleucid Empire. And uh, there's been a few changes. <laughs> as you can see... Uh, our economy has now crumbled. <laughs> there has been a hot fix, which has uh, fixed a lot of different uh, things with the game, a few different issues. But it's also changed the economy quite considerably, as you can see. And uh, now we've gone from making, I think, positive 6,000 to minus 10,000, a 16,000 gold swing, guys. So we're going to have to manage that very quickly. Uh, very soon. So we're going to do that uh, pretty much second. But there is one thing I want to do first. And it's not attack in there. What it is, is attack Tiana with these guys. Oh, no, don't do that. So we're going to attack Tiana. Oh, uh, uh, no, we're not because we don't have a, uh, a ram yet, of course. That's fine. So we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to manage the economy. And the way we're going to do this, guys is we're going to go through our cities um, and go through the happiest ones and just put our taxes up. Why at Antioch do we have two of those guys? So, yeah, we're going to just go through them all and start putting the taxes up. I, I generally don't like to put the taxes up because of... Um, because of growth. It reduces our growth, so long term it actually reduces our income. But for now, we need to be positive. I think we're going to get more and more positive the more uh, cities we take off the Ptolemies. But doing this is going to be uh, going to be hard to really get positive now, guys. So I don't even think the taxes will do it, but we can try. We can try. Um, and we want to kind of delete. Where is this? So why do we have a Theroporoi here? So if I deleted this Theroporoid, because that is 835 a turn, and let's replace you. We do need someone in there. The Peltast is 656. It saves 200 a turn, which this costs 1,000. So it's going to pay for itself in five turns. I'm happy with that. 
Um, so there we are. Now, Arbella, can we go higher? We can just about. We're going to have a lot more rebellions then because of this. Right, Dora uh, Europos. We definitely don't need that Theroparoi in there. I bet you didn't expect this at the start of this episode, guys. <laughs> Some more uh, management of our cities. I mean, it's all fine, really. We're going to have, of course, we're going to have a few more rebellions due to this because we're putting our taxes up really high. I don't think, I think the prodromoy is the best thing that we can do there. And let's put that up to, let's leave that on low then. I don't want uh, rebellions if I can help it. Ephesus, uh, yep, yeah, 65 is not going to be quite good enough. Obviously, these ones we can't. And then over here in Sagalossos. Sagalossos. Hmm. Well, what we can do is... Sagalossos? Where are you, Sagalossos? What we should probably do with these guys is either join them up to an army, or we can, pr we can probably get rid of them. They cost 943 a turn, those Pisidian Javelin men. So we'll leave one guy in there, of course. Uh, so that was Sagalossos we were at. Yep. Iconian. Um, if we could get rid of those Peltas, that would be absolutely fantastic. Mm, I mean, it's it's close, isn't it? Is there anything that we can build here to help us? Second Greek colony. We're just going to have to risk it, Iconian. If it gets too bad, we will have to build back some Greek Peltas. I know that's kind of the wrong way around but it's the it's probably worth risking it just for now ekbatana we can't change that uh normal here yeah we can go up a little bit uh hecatompilos we can go up can we go to very high not quite zadrakata of course zadrakata has lots of people inside it so that's good I mean, changing the taxes in a lot of these places really does not much in terms of our money. But it's all those little gains all added up. Yeah, that can't go up. Alexandria, Carmania, you're going to have to stay. Now, where? Yeah, I think we'll get rid of an Acontisti. It's only 293. Oh, that's so close going to have to build something after this turn to keep them happy. Uh, where are we? Alexandria, Carmania. Uh, da, da, da. I think... I know we're not... Prof oh my god, we're nowhere near the bottom yet. So, we do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of places we can change the tax rate. Uh, or try to... Uh, try to change it. Abydos, no. Alexander Troas, no. Adramitian, no. Thyteria, no. Ladokia Lycos, we can. Wow, that well, this place is extremely happy. And that is because Achaos the Elder is 10 influence, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> 10 influence, no management and no command, but 10 whole influence. That is just crazy. Um, and then, of course, Smyrna. Let's get you to very high. We're starting to get closer to positive. Uh, what are we saying here? Yeah, we stay on low. <laughs> Persinius, we've got to stay on low. Antiochia, Sados, stay there. So the problem is with having negative income, guys. We can't react to anything. It's a problem when you have negative income. You just can't react to anything that changes. So, say somewhere revolts and we need a new unit. If we're on negative income, we can't afford that new unit. And that place will generally revolt fully. So, we want to be able to react uh, to things as they happen. And if we, uh, yeah, if we keep on with this. So, in here, I, I don't want to get rid of you, but how much are you costing? 500. I mean, you've got to go then, haven't you? You've got to go. That's Hermalus. Where's Hermalus? Uh, Hermalus, please? I don't think we've come to Babylon yet. Hermalus? Hermalus. Is it changing how it's 
managed every time because that's really fucking annoying if it's doing that. <sighs> Why is it doing that? Just go on to the city levels and I'll be happy. Can't do that. So, so we're going to have to go through everything again now. Where are we? Achaea, Heraclea. Well, we don't need you. And they're still pretty happy. So we'll stay there. And we go back. Heraclea. Duh, duh, duh. And then Alexandria Charax. Yeah, we've changed that. Take like a Marginai. I think we stay with those. Normal here. Yeah, no. Uh, my Jadona. Yeah, we don't have anyone there because we changed it. How about here? Yep, yeah, we can go up. Saros, I don't think so. Regian. 70%, that's good enough. Over here. We need to take a look at the uh, units rather than anything else. Yeah, we'll stay 80%. Oh, we're so close now, guys. We're so close. Hi there. We're good, we're good. Arhapa. Uh, can we go very high? No, not quite. And then Artemita. Yep, we can. Fantastic. That means no population growth, though, which is a bit upsetting. Uh, but there's not much we can do about that. And cakes. Cakes. I think we get rid of the Greek slingers. Uh, go back to level. Come up to cakes. Yeah, Babylon. And they're on 80%. So that's fine. Baroya. Yep. Bertha. Let's go up then. And go very high at Bertha. Uh, Biz Powell's Tis. We're on low already, so I'm not going to mess around with the units there. Chalcodon. That's fine. We'll leave Chalcodon like that. Daskelion. Uh, Daskelion. Can you do that? No, absolutely not. Deliche. Can you do this? No, not quite. Edessa. Ephesus. Ooh, this is a... Uh, it's a lot of cities, guys, isn't it? It's a lot of cities. A lot of cities. Goodbye. Nope. Gauzana. Can we... Oh, 70%. I mean, leaving it on 70 is very risky in terms of the rebellions, but I think we got to. we got to pump some money out, haven't we? Like, <laughs> at the minute... We are making 2,000 a turn from this, what we've managed to uh, scrap together. Kiros. Hi, that kind of works. Kazikios. These ones are not going to go, are they? Yeah, absolutely not. Libanos. Yeah, no. They're not happy at all when we change that tax rate. I mean, uh, Ladokia Lycos is very happy just because of that one guy inside. Yeah, 65 is not going not gonna to go. Nikaia, I don't think that's... I mean, having a having a Greek hoplite in here is, is not really a great... Um, a great unit to have. So, Passa, yeah, I don't think so. No. Passargardai, no. Pisinius is just about happy. Uh, Sagalossos, yeah, we've done that one. Hedaiphon... Ooh, had Diphon. Very nice, thank you. We stay there. Tambrax. Smyrna is on very high. Bagdartes, no chance. No chance. Taoke on low. Tarsus is on low. I think that won't go here. No, absolutely not. Trellis. Nope. Oh, we're nearly at the bottom, guys. Don't worry. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Zadricart is just about happy. Antioch. Ekbatana. Sardis. Sardis is a very unhappy place right now. Uh, don't think that's going to change. And then Susa. Yeah, no. So we've managed to 
claw back quite a bit of money there. Did I delete the armies in Seleucia? I did. So, I think... I mean, I think we're okay. It's, uh... It's pretty... <laughs> It's pretty hard. That was a 16,000 gold swing, which is pretty brutal, honestly. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's probably balanced out the economy a lot better than what it was. Uh, so great uh, for the update. I know it's solved a lot of issues uh, that were initially happening with a few different systems, etc. So it's great to see that update come out so quickly. Um, Second thing, guys, I know there's not been a huge amount of releases of this uh, of this series so far, but I have been pretty ill the last week or so, so um, I'm sorry about that. I've just not been able to record or record the intros, and the intros are the thing that take the, take, uh, the longest on these, of course, uh, because they are all uh, bespoke intros based on what happens on the uh, on the map, what kind of happens. So, yeah, so that's been, uh, that's been happening so far. So... We are over here. I think it's time to uh, end the turn then. I mean, town expands. They're just, we're just not going to be able to facilitate that for a while. So let's end the turn. See what happens. Is that our diplomat? What is that diplomat doing? Okay, you're going to Alexandria Susia. That should help us as well. That's good. Good, 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 good. Well, I didn't expect to uh, to be doing... Um, economy management right at the start of this uh, episode, guys. But yeah, we uh, we have, and it's fine. Because the last intro, I talked about how our taxes were low, and they were low pretty much everywhere. <laughs> now we're going to have to go back on our word, aren't we? <laughs> right, a candidate for adoption, Andrew Marcos. I I mean, a hundred percent. He's in Apamea Kibotos. I think that's down here. Oh, we can just do this. Take me to him. And he's over here. They were rebelling. So if I take you out, are you very upset? Actually, they're not too upset. Sagalassos. What about... Uh, we've got people everywhere. Was I sending units anywhere? Iconian. I think you can go to Iconian. So go over there. Yeah, civil disorder. Let's see where this all is. Hierapolis. Oh, god damn. We can't save that. And Naza boss. How are you on civil disorder? You're on 70%. Prosphasia. Gonna have to build... Like I said, we're gonna have to build another temple. Or sewers or something here. Oh, what if we just recruit you? That's the cheapest option, right? So, Heropolis. Do with building something that will help. And I mean, nothing will. Prosphasia, we're doing that. And Nazabos should be fine. Iconian is not fine. This is what happens when you have no money, guys. You just can't react to anything, like I said. Sardis should be okay. Wait, Zeuxis has come of age as well. Let's get him into something over here then. We'll go to uh, Kazikos. Next turn, if those places are still rebelling, we'll have to stick some more units into them. So now in Antioch, we have these guys that need to go to the front line. So we will send them. Two of them, anyway. See your, how unhappy it makes these people. So we'll just put you back down to normal. Now we're only making 338 a turn. Oh, God. No! I had such a lovely... Uh, such a lovely empire going, and now we've been screwed. Absolutely screwed. Right. Uh, we can do this battle. I don't think it's worth fighting this, guys. So I generally will fight nearly every battle, but if it's something like this, like he's only killed 36, there's no point. It would take like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, of course, we're going to enslave. Does that mean another town expands? Well, sorry about that. Uh, and then let's keep on marching if we can. 
how upset are you? I mean, pretty upset. <laughs> Temple to Osiris, I mean, not that'll be another 20%. That's another 5% law if we repair that. And then I want Shrine to Hera. That should be enough to make them happy. Uh, let's go to Ptolemaeus Foynike. It's a Phoenician Ptolemaeus place. There's only two people in that as well. So we basically just need to ravage this, uh, this countryside down here. Let's take all of these rich regions. And uh, that might save our economy. I mean, taking Tyre has made it 2,152 now, which is pretty... Pretty excellent, honestly. Should be able to take Tyana as well. Now, you are going where? To Iconian. Oh, God, it's such a long way, isn't it? Um, Sardis being upset is actually quite scary. Is there anywhere that has a bit of leg room around here? What if I did this? Yeah, that makes them happy. And then we go to that. That'll be okay. We've just got to kind of balance it balance it around around here. Oh, the other thing, guys. Every time that you load back in, you've got to uh, got to do this. I don't know. There might be something with, with me, with my map. But every time I load back in, I've got to do that. Right. We will fight this one because they have a uh, Libyan Phalangite who's actually a really good unit. And Timarkos... We've got our Chalka Speed Airs. We're going to try and use our Generals as much as possible, as well as these Mercenary Thracians. They're the two kind of disposable units we have. The Generals are not disposable in terms of themselves, but their units are because they automatically replenish. Um, so, yeah. Let's get into this battle then, guys. First battle of the episode. I will see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Day has dawned. This will be bloody. Bloody. Come what may, but we are free men, and we do not fear the sight of our little blood. Now, sound the horns! Hey, yes. That is no orc horn. Right, who are we sending up now that we don't have missile units to send up as people in our stead? Thracians, of course. I'm honestly considering just sending up the Thracians. I don't think they'll man the walls, but I will have our boys around here. In fact, we will send you up because I don't even think the Thracians are going to be going to reach the walls, really. So, who are we going to use in this fight? Most likely the Chalka Speeders will use one of those. Going to use you guys and the Mercenary Thracians. And that, I'm hoping, will be enough. I mean, we can use the, the Theroporoid to fire their Javis, but I don't want them in the fight. Don't want to waste their men too much. They don't even have... Oh, they have dirt roads leading from the city. That's all. They don't have paved roads. Come on, Thracians. Let's go. Don't even think they've lost a man. Attacking. Okay, this, these, are the, these are the best places to uh, get your ladders, of course. You can see we've not even lost a man coming up here. Um, which way are we going to go to the town square? That way, of course. So, you guys get there. We'll put you on fire at will as well. Going to just run around this way. And then we'll run back and take... Oh, no. Let's just take this one first. Once you've tapped it, you can... Uh, yeah. Now they should be getting shot at. Now come here. Yeah. Now they should be being shot. Now the general should hopefully get shot if he comes down this way. Firing Javis into them. I'm happy with that. Right then, I'm going to use two units of the Chalka Speeders. Going to use our general. I think our general can go and absolutely maul those guys with no problem. Um, and then I'm going to get these two down when we've got, uh, we've got the guys closer. If our general comes in quickly, we can probably route this Greek archer and then charge his uh, his general. Surely they're going to route. Yeah, now we'll get his general. And we're going to rally so that Antiochus doesn't die. There he is. 
We should beat him. We've got overwhelming numbers. I mean, the charge didn't really do much. <laughs> In fact, it did nothing. But now the death begins. Now the fighting begins, my boys. Do you know what? You boys, I'm going to get you in as well. It's gonna, I'm just going to take a little bit more time than, say, I should. Just because I want those Theroperoid in to fire their jabbies. Come on, let's get him. Speed this up. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to. We're gonna try and sandwich the boys. So you boys that way. You boys this way. And um, where are the Theroperoid? They're coming. They're coming. We should fully like be surrounding them now. There's only three left. Kill him. Come on. There he is. It's good. Let's get the cavalry this way. Come on, Theroperoy. Let's go. Are you all on fire at will? You should be. Get here. Uh, and you guys around here as well in case they want to come and tango. Uh, I need to destroy that unit. I'm going to send you in to do that, actually, not Antiochus, just in case. Just so that they're not throwing their jabbies at that unit. Kill that last guy. Yep, now out. Now out, my friend. What is your name as well? I keep forgetting. Akilos. Akilos, you will be a glorious man. You will learn from Antiochus and you will become a great general one day. Hmm. We'll just do them one at a time. I mean, throwing them at the front is never great. Keep it normal speed. You guys should be able to fire soon. And then what we're going to do, get you guys here. Sandwich the boyos. You guys get out. And when you two have thrown your jabbies... Which should be soon, hopefully, before you get engaged. Oh, now throwing them in the back. It's so much better. Come on. Last couple of throws. And then we'll get out. Get out. And then you guys. Phalanx, quick. Guys, I told you to get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. God damn it. Don't wait around. Now we'll sandwich these boys. Yeah, get in there quick, quick, quick. Phalanx. Are you guys through? Should be able to fire your javis into the back of them now again. Let's go, boys. God, what is that formation? Oh, my God. Oh, God damn it, bro. Sometimes the pathing. It hurts me. It hurts. Keep coming. Go, go, go. Keep coming, guys. Oh, my. What is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> You're just walking in a fucking line. You idiots. Oh, God damn, bro. Why am I playing another Phalangite base nation? They don't know what to do, bro. They literally just don't know what to do. They are so dumb. See, now these guys are getting shredded because they're getting hit in the side by these... Oh, my. See, like, watch if we do this. They're just going to be so dumb. Yeah, that's great. Well done. Sounds good. Doing a good job there. You're getting absolutely shredded, boys. God damn it, bro. God damn it. Were you... Are you fucking kidding me? Like, you are... St oh, my God. If you're new to the channel, guys, I will get salty. I will get salty. When units don't do what I want them to do, I will get very salty. All right, now we should win. How are you down to 40 men? You are an embarrassment to our nation. Shocking. Shocking. And you're still losing. How are you losing? 
These guys are not even in Phalanx, and you're losing to them. God damn it, bro. Fight them. And now you're facing the wrong way, brother. I don't, even, I don't even know what you... Do you even... Do you have even have eyes? Oh, my God. We killed a lot more Chalka Speed has died there than needed to die because of how stupid they are. God damn it, bro. But anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And, um... It's Greek, Miletos. So, um, I think... Enslavement or exterminate for 3,000 gold coins. I think enslave... If we look at our money now, it's, it's in a lot better situation than it was. Make sure we destroy that. Can we do this battle now? We can. Did I destroy that here? And here? Um... I didn't hear. Let's get rid of that. Taking these places with good shipyards, shipwrights and shipyards is really, really beneficial on the coast. Makes a lot of money. You've got Mylisa, which is a large town, and we've got Halicarnassus, which is also a large town. This one has a port. I want to send 15 of you guys left back to Sardis for retraining. Gonna have to just balance out these places over here. Um, I wish we had some more units that we could really, really use. Wait, how did this? Thirty-seven percent. They're gonna rebel, but honestly, it's gonna be fine because um, this unit's gonna come in, and I think that'll be enough. What I think we need to do with our money right now. Uh, not retrain you guys. Is train like three Akontistai that can just man these places as garrisons. Because I don't want to waste any of my units in this army on that. Once we've taken these two, we should be good. Also, Rhodes would be a huge jewel in our crown if we could take Rhodes. Uh, on top of that, the Colossus of Rhodes is unreal. Increases naval trade by 40%, guys. That would be a massive boon to us. But currently, right now, we just need to focus on the Ptolemies. This little corner here, you can see, is all owned by the Ptolemies. Um, I don't know exactly how many settlements, but I would say, like, one, two, say, like, three, four, five, six, maybe, like, seven settlements down there. And we've also got these guys on the move. I'm hoping... So over here, I don't know whether they've got a settlement like this side as well, but I guess we'll see once, uh, once we get onto the map. Uh, you guys are moving. Now we've got this battle to do for Tyana. This one's going to be a tough one, especially with those goddamn uh, Asian archers. They're a really good archer unit. The Asian light spearmen are not great. Uh, we've got some Galatian Thorakitai, and I kind of want to use them because they're mercenaries. And they cost an absolute bomb, guys. 2,000. Um, I did recruit them when we were making a lot more money, though. Um, 2,000 for those boys. So let's get into the battle. And I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. Time to be a it's a business. beautiful looking city. Look at that. Shoulder your shields and mark all commands. Our foes are gathered. Cool. How many? We have 26 in our general's bodyguard unit. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the Theroporoi going in for it, honestly. Um, let's have a look at some of these Thorakitai guys, though, because they are really, really stunning. Look at these guys. Just look how good they look. They look so good. So good. When they get up as well, they look even better. Hiding. Uh, yeah. Go and uh, knock down the gate would be uh, great for us. How many do they have in there? Asian royal bodyguards. Oh, these guys are, are fantastic. We're going to have to be very careful here. You guys on fire at will. And hopefully pepper them with javis before attacking them. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring you guys forward. So you can pepper them with jabbies before uh, we get into the fight. I'm also going to bring you guys forward anyway. Now they should be able to fire the jabbies. It's going to be a bit of a bludgeoning. Oh, that did do well, to be fair. Now, these guys, I really want to chuck their jabbies into the enemy. I'm going to get the Thoroparoi in there. I'm going to get the Thorakitai in here as well. Because, as I say, I want to use that Thorakitai as much as I can. Thoroparoi here, and the General can uh, come over here. The walls are taken! What music? This is class. Lovely music. I don't. I really don't want to fight the general on the town square. They've got their archers on the town square. That's fine. I, I wouldn't mind fighting the archers on the town square. Fighting anyone else. We should absolutely shred these Asian light spearmen. The Thorakitai can go mad as well. Get there. Bring the Thoroparoi into there potentially if we can we'll get there for now general get you here if we can come round that would be fantastic speed it up a bit okay this is kind of the trap that we were going for fight these guys now now you guys need to fire your jabbies this is it this is what we were looking for fire your jabbies boys and then the Thoroparoi can as well Fire! Guys, fire! Thorakitai getting shredded. Guys, fire! Yeah, come on. Don't be slow with it. I don't care about the friendly fire. Yes, this is it! Come on! Javis for the win, boys! Javis for the win! Let's go! That has really done some damage there, hasn't it? Wow. Last last volley. Done. Now you guys can come out then. You should be beating those light spearmen. You guys get there. And we'll get ready to fire the jabbies. I don't think, don't think we should really, honestly. So get in. Just get into the fight. I want you to get close to these guys. Try and give them, like, the feeling that it's overwhelming numbers. Or, and actually, no, we'll come this way. Speed it up a little bit now. Yes, good. Now, round here, General. Let's go. They've got some of their Asian light spearmen on the town square. Don't want you to fire your jabbies at them. Oh, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Come on, this way. This way, boys. And let's charge into the back of those Asian light spearmen. I'm hoping we can break them. You should savage those guys. You should absolutely savage them. No more of the jabbies right just yet. Then I want the Thorakitai there and the Thoroparoi here as well to fire into those, those Asian light spearmen. Wait, what's happening here? That was not the charge I was hoping for. I'm not going to lie. Come back, General. Come back. Oh, no, they've broken. They have broken. Go, go, go. Get them. So, fight these Asian archers. Should absolutely savage them. Get those guys. Come on. Now you should be able to fire at these guys. Now it's just going to be a bit of a grind fest. You're not going to be able to fire, are you? Uh, well, what we're going to have to do... It's a long way around, isn't it? Ah, Kind of screwed this up. Well, our cavalry's fast, so get over there. Same with you guys, unless there's another quicker way. Not that way. Definitely not. It's only that way. I want you to get to here. Is that still coming around that way? Yep. Yeah. Get there. 
Let's go, boys. Let's go. Can you guys do your war cry? You can. Now charge him. That should bring you up. Shake makes them shaken. Don't want you. We've lost a lot of men in this. The Thorakitai, though, I'm happy with. I would have preferred to just lose the whole Thorakitai rather than half of this. You taking the mick? Wrong way! God damn it, bro. I'm just going to have to keep charging into them. Who is this, by the way? Theodotas. Let's go. Speed it up. Bit of a grind fest, isn't it, now? Get here. Let's go. Charge him. Should do the wedge formation, really. See how many lo we lost on that goddamn charge, bro. That was a lot. Get out. And hopefully we don't lose him. We need our general. Do you know what would uh, make us just so much more powerful with this army? Would be have another general in this ar army. And I'm, I'm pretty confident we do okay against a lot of their, their armies. And we're going to get... Uh, Theodotus to do a rally as well. So that he doesn't he doesn't lead the charge. Okay, maybe the wedge formation wasn't great because they're all spread out, aren't they? Let's get out of wedge. Let's get back this way. Come on, guys. You're so slow. You can make it. We probably will have killed them by the time they get there. Now out. Come on, boys. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Oh, wait. How did we... How did we route them? I guess they came off the square. I mean, we killed more than double what they killed, so... I'm not going to complain too much, but... Uh, it's a bit annoying that we had to fight those guys on the square. But anyway, it's fine. Uh, we won, and uh, we have the first Cappadocian city, guys. So, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys, and... Looking at this, I think it's our first extermination that we're going to have to do. And they're still unhappy. You can see that they are Anatolian in terms of culture. That's one of the new cultures, I, I believe, anyway. Um, they've already got an aqueduct. A Roman aqueduct in Tiana. <laughs> Interesting. They must have had some uh, decent aqueduct back in the day. But our first Cappadocian city... Very nice. And with all this cash that we have, we're going to... Uh, we're going to uh, sort out some of these places that are a bit unhappy. There we are. Public order. I knew we could sort by public order. There we are. So, very unhappy places. Tyre, of course. I'm going to sort that out. Uh, Militos is... Also, un very unhappy, but we're going to sort that out. Damascus. Interesting. Why are you so severely unhappy? Shrine to Hera will sort it, though. Uh, and then we had Alexandria Prosphasia, which we need to build something. So I'm going to... So either the sewers is an extra 10%, so sewers it's going to be. Bispoutis, sewers as well. Iconian sewers. <laughs> Hieropolis. Let's repair those and build the sewers. <laughs> Aganza. Oh, we don't have any, any more. We're going to have some very unhappy places next turn. Hopefully that 5,000 will be enough to stabilize just about. But our stable and happy empire has been ruined. Wait, Seleucia can upgrade now as well. Oh, great. That gives us more money options because if we look on, on here, if we come to some of our trade options, we can get the Inland Trade Center. We can also get the Spice Road, um, which, what does that need, though? It needs a large city, yeah. If we get that, because this one made 1,200, if we can get that Spice Road, that, that should surely make us... A load of money. Right, so we have Ptolemaic Foynike over here. We're also sieging down my Larsa. 
problem with Cappadocia over here. Oh, there's, they've got another city up there. Yeah, interesting. Now, Spy, Mr. Philip. Let's have a look. I mean, they've, they've got soldiers and stuff in these places. Just not many of them. That's one of their armies. And it's not a good army. They've got soldiers in there as well. I'm... Oh, no. Cappadocian cavalry is something we really do not want to face on the field. So I would say it's probably best to go up to uh, up to Pernassos first. Because they don't have anyone there. And try and attack them there. Now, as diplomat man, let's go get trade agreements with some of these leagues down here. And Athens and Sparta and all that. Halicarnassus, what does that do? Oh, construction time is by 20%. It's not, no, it's not anything to sniff at. It's not too bad, you know. This, also, this particular region looks quite large. So maybe they have less settlements down here than I thought. I kind of want to get a spy so that I can see. But is there anywhere down here we can actually build a spy? Obviously, I want to rec uh, retrain you. That's 1,900 for that, though. Obscene, brother. Obscene. But I think, honestly, we're doing a decent enough job of managing our economy right now. It's just the public order that's going to become a slight issue. So we'll go through all that at the end, uh, at the start of next turn again. And that's what we're going to have to keep doing, guys. It's not, you know, a one-time thing. We're going to have to keep doing it every sort of couple of turns. Well, we go through our public order every turn, but it's going to have to keep happening. You can save money here. That Ancontistai is... Yeah, that's just not worth it. Having Hoplites in there as well is really not worth it. If we can help it. In these two regions, if we could get those guys back and retrained. Right then, I think that's one turn. We've only had one turn this episode, but we've done a lot in that one turn. Or maybe two turns. I can't quite remember. But yeah, we've taken over, what, three cities this episode already, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Expansion, boys. Expansion. Just wait and see the uh, Ptolemies want uh, a ceasefire pretty soon. Uh, I mean, I would probably take that. Oh, there's a large Cappadocian army. And I don't know who they're at war with, but they look like they're going north. So I kind of want to follow them. Another candidate for adoption. I mean, it costs us money, this. But getting governors in these places is fantastic. Wait, he's actually in Seleucia. Good. Some of these are uh, some cities that are making decent money. So, yes. you, my friend. Let's take you out. See what happens. Just to reiterate, guys. If you want the extra movement points, then you've got to have your units outside of a city. If they're in a city, they get the governor, the governor trait. And they get a little bit less movement points. If you want them to have all the full movement points. So I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you directly now guys. So if we look at the movement points of this guy. can only get to there. And he's probably a that much apart. If we look now. Look at uh, Antiochus. He's got a huge amount of movement points. Um, I wish we could recruit some of these guys. The Greek Peltas though are not where it's at. What about up here? Oh, we can't. So I'm going to do the same thing here and recruit some Akontistai. Where was I recruiting the Akontistai? I was recruiting Akontistai down here somewhere, wasn't I? Now they're on 77. That's good. Um, yeah, it was in, uh, it was in uh, Traleus. So we're doing that. Right, now let's go through our civil disorder. It looks like it's quite a lot. Militos we've already sorted out. Oh my god. I don't think the arena can do anything for us. Let's get rid of it. Gives us some extra money. Take the barracks, the academy, and the Odeon, though. Uh, so, and then we have Tyre. Very un upset. Gonna have to just juggle this. We're just gonna have to juggle it. There's, and there's not much else we can do. 
Uh, it's hard to expand so quickly. Uh, Bizpoutis should be happy next turn, so that's fine. Heropolis should be happy next turn. And Iconian... Pff, it's going to be close. Got a lot of towns that need upgrading right now. A lot of them. Um, we've built some governors, villas, etc. Do you know what we'll, we will do with the rest of our money? Is firstly check the public order. Uh, public order. Press that again. So public, wait. Public order, there we are. Okay. So let's check these places. See if there's anything we can do to make them happy. So Sidon gets the uh, gets this as well. See how much money that would make Sidon. 300. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Got Shrine to Taichi. Let's go for that. That's an extra 5%. No, not turn income. Come on. Why does it not save it? <laughs> so stupid. Just save it. So we went Sidon. We're building that. What? What? Why? Has it changed? Brother. More activity. Public order, for God's sake. So, Artakana. Let's build the shrine to Hera. Alexandria, Carmania. Oh, it's money, money, money. How do you have access to a port? It's all the way down there. Sewers, please. Kibotus. That's a lot to repair that. Um, I think I'd rather spend the money on making you happy. So let's do that. And then Kadoi needs upgrading. So let's leave that for now. And here we can go for Hera. We're fine. And Tagai, let's go for Hera as well. Now we're into the 70s. So now we're fine from there downwards. Okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, where's Trelaeus that we're recruiting those boys? Yes. So... Ephesus is happy. Militos is fine. So we need a we need a place in Mylisa next. So we'll do that. We've also got this siege. And then I what do we do about Cappadocia over here? Don't really want to leave the Galatian Thorakitai behind because they're just so expensive. Yes. Oh, we can go that way north. So I really want to... Once we've uh, enslaved these cities, we'll have enough money to get some Akontistai. Also, Antioch. If we could send these guys up there, that would be fantastic. So we need to kind of recruit someone else down here to, uh, to fill their spot. First things first, let's take my Lisa. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play this one, guys. Again. See, zero casualties inflicted. There was no point. Let's enslave these guys again. Nowhere upgraded that time. And we're gonna go straight to Halicarnassus. God, they they do have a lot of. Uh... So I didn't even realize they had one across there. Like, can we go across there? I guess not. Port for Nidos. So yeah, if we zoom in, it looks like, yeah, we've taken kind of this like whole sort of region here. So they just have cities like on the edge down here, which is fine. I kind of want to spy. Uh, delete this. That's going to give us some money. Fantastic. Repair those, get the Shrine to Hera, go to low tax rate, and then fill in. Oh, straight up to 96%. That is the power of the Akontistai. <laughs> Do I have enough to buy a spy yet? And is there anywhere I can buy a spy is the second question. I think I need a market for it. I don't think anywhere down here has a market. It's all diplomats. I just want a spy. <laughs> Give me a spy. A nice little spy. I spy. <laughs> we seem to be doing well in this region, though. I'm, I'm quite happy. 
Like, we've kind of blocked off the whole tip of Anatolia right now, and that's quite good. It does leave us vulnerable to get split in half, of course, but... I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine! Right, we also have this battle. And I will fight this one, guys, because we are fighting Matroi Foroi, and I do like those guys. Um, mm, I should fall. They should fall pretty quickly, though. So let's go fight it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Sorry about that. I had a little problem with my mic. It was not unmuting. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, just one sec. Let me adjust it. There we are. That's better, isn't it? Right, guys. Um, so, of course, we're going to use our Greek slingers on the ladders. And I think... I think here is the best place. The rest of you ladder people... And just come forward, just drop your ladders. We won't need you for now. Ideally, we want to use as much missile troops as we can. So I think it's time for the Prodromoy to uh the Prodromoy to uh to do some business. As long as they yeah, if they keep their Matroi Foroi outside uh, of the town square, I'll be very happy. Do you, I like these new settlement layouts as well, guys. They really are good. They're really interesting and different from the from the uh, uh, from the vanilla, and they kind of flow a bit better, in my opinion. Get up there, quick! The so what are they doing? They don't seem to know what they're doing. Well so get there. The walls are taken. I'm going to send you guys up here as well. Well, you guys come all the way sort of round. Is there anywhere where you could actually shoot on the town square? I bet there is places where you'd be close. And then these guys, once they're up, let's get you around that way. And we'll pro probably pretty much have it done. Okay, yeah, keep coming. If you come all the way around to there, you can fire on these guys while they're, uh, they don't really know what they're doing. I was hoping that they would come close to the walls. That and you get there. You should be able to fire on these guys now. Yes, kill them all. Kill them all. That's what I say. My common saying. <laughs> Quick, guys, get in position because you should be able to fire on these guys pretty soon. Come on, slingers. Even as the trashest unit in our roster, they'll still do a lot of damage. As a uh, as a uh, missile unit, but they have reduced the amount of damage missile units do, and also the cost of them. Uh, just because they were a bit too cheap before, and they were doing so much damage for how cheap they were. Right then, I think Prodromoy boys, it's time for you guys to get in. Send uh, Antiochus in. He only has 16 in his general's bodyguard unit, which is not a lot. And then we'll send you boys in as well. Hoping we can kill pretty much this whole Matroi 4 just with our archers. And then that Akontisti will die so quickly. Right, Prodromoy. If you could get, like, there. <laughs> that would be ideal. I should probably... Yeah, fire your Javis, boys. Oh, my days. They've, they've brought their Akontisti out. That is just an invitation to charge them. I know, I know my Prodromoy are trash, guys. But that is just an invitation to route them just through numbers. The See, these guys have routed. Okay, that, that's... We're also having the same problem as them. So get here first. The Slinger's still firing. Fantastic to see. Get in there. Let's bring Antiochus here as well. Yeah, fire your Javis, boys. And then what I want you to do, of course, charge these fools. And hopefully we route them all in one charge. Um, ah, this is... Yeah, maybe they just don't understand the new, uh, the new pathing yet. 
Ah, uh, that's why... For some reason it thinks there's this path there. So... I mean, if we get to, like... If you go here, guys. Like, here. Come, come, just... Oh, God damn. Just come here! Now come here. Now let's go. Why Why do you think that way is the way to go? It's definitely quicker this way, no matter which way you go. No! Oh, there we are. Okay. Somehow, we managed to route them. But okay, Greek Slinger's doing all the work. The Progenoid did some work as well, so well done, boys. I like that. Um, it looks like a little bit like that city uh, layout. Slightly, slightly got one pathing issue there. So maybe next time we'll go the other way, and that should be fine. Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And again, one of these ancient Phoenician cities has been taken. So, let us do that. We really need somewhere... We need... This place to pump out some Akantistai. Because... I wonder what happens when we do this. 37%. Not too bad, you know. Um, I'm tempted, honestly. To build, like... A watchtower here, so I can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so there is a city there, Gadara. So we do have inland cities as well, and of course, I mean, inland cities is fine. This to me does not look the same color. That looks to me like a rebel. Does it look the same? Yeah, it's definitely rebel up there. So we have these three cities to take. Samaria is a large town. Python is a large town. And Philadelphia is a town. So let's get on the bridge. What I'm going to do for now is leave one single Prodromoy behind. But first I'm going to merge them into everyone. Um, that's the experienced one, which is slightly annoying, but what can you do? And let's attack Gadara. Uh, actually, no rams. Take those. It's got stone walls. This has wooden walls. This has stone walls. That's really helped our economy, and I'm pretty happy with how we've been going this episode, guys. I mean, we've taken five cities so far. We've taken Ptolemaeus Phoenike, Tyre. We didn't take Sidon. I believe we took that last episode. We took Militos, Mylysa, and we've taken uh, Tyana. So I'm pretty happy with how it's been going. So, I know, where is this army going? Because that's a big army, guys. I mean, it's a lot of trash, really, but it's still a big army. One thing we really need to, uh, I need to pay attention to is this recruitment report. So, I remember where we're recruiting these uh, Akantistai. Everywhere's happy down here. Happy, happy, happy. Fantastic. But over here, what do we want to build in this place? I mean, it's got to be the Shrine to Hero again, right? Just to get them happy. That's the standard <laughs> what we're going for each turn. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty happy with how we're going. What I'm going to do... Is there any settlements? Uh, I need to find the settlements that need upgrading. So if we go to the uh, the big map, it takes a few seconds to load because of how big the map is. <laughs> but I'm glad we've saved our economy. Okay, Uruk. Right, Uruk, you, uh, you will be the first candidate to upgrade. No, you won't. I can't afford it. <laughs> there was this one, though, as well, wasn't there? Is it this one? Is? Oh, Is, we can't afford that either, can we? If it is Is, or is it you? It is you. You're 1,600. Come on, bro. 1,600. So close. 
So I think the uh, the play here would be to take Gadara because it's got the bigger garrison. Seven turns. Then go for Philadelphia. And then on to Samaria. Then we'll come down and start taking these cities. I mean, the problem is they, they go, like, all the way back here, don't they? I think Egypt. So it's going to take a while to get into Alexandria. What does this do? Halves the chance of ships sinking and increases naval movement. I mean, it's not... What we need is money, so that's not a huge boon to us. But anyway, one thing lastly to do, get our um, diplomat moving. And if we can find anyone, be ideal. Anyone? Anyone about? <laughs> just, just the Antigonids, no one else around here. So let's come down. And get talking to them. Well then guys. What I think we're going to do is end the episode there. So I hope you enjoyed. I really did. And I think <laughs> we're doing we're doing very decently. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> At the minute. We managed to restabilize our economy after the patch. Which is the key thing. Uh, it's definitely the key thing there. So restabilize, restabilizing our economy after the patch. 100% uh, the key thing that we needed to do right now. Um, and we've took five cities in this episode, so you know, i got to say I'm pretty happy with that. Five cities. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really, really does help the channel out. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you again on the next video.